All right, in this video, I'm going to be discussing an issue a lot of new Mac users have with Scratch Live and their external drive. Now, a lot of people go out and buy a new Mac, and they're probably using a Windows PC prior to that. And they have an external drive as well that they want to use with Scratch Live on their new Mac computer. So they plug in their external drive to their new Mac, and they load up Scratch Live, build crates, overviews, set cue points, loops, and all that good stuff. And much to their surprise, the next time they open Scratch Live, poof, everything is gone. No crates, no cue points, loops, all that stuff is gone. Uh, while many new Mac users are unaware of the fact that Macs cannot write to Windows NTFS formatted external drives. Now, if you don't know what format your external drive is, all you need to do is right-click the external drives icon on the desktop and select Get Info. Now, this is basically the Mac equivalent of right-clicking and selecting properties. So right-click and select Get Info, and if it says Windows NT File System, NTFS, for the format, uh, this is the problem. As I mentioned, Macs cannot write to Windows NTFS drives. So you cannot save, edit, delete, change, modify anything on the drive uh, when it's connected to a Mac. And this is a problem with Scratch Live because Scratch Live needs to be able to write to the drive and the files uh, for its crates and cue points and overviews and all that stuff. Uh, so let's just demonstrate this quickly in Scratch Live. You don't need to be connected. We can do this in the offline player. Uh, so let's go into the files panel on my external drive and let's import some of these folders to crates uh, like so. And the first thing you'll notice is uh, you're going to see a lock symbol next to all the files. So that should set off red flags right there. And you'll see this track is read only at the bottom. Uh, if it goes away rather quickly. Uh, all right, so when we go and close Scratch Live, as I mentioned, and we go and open it again the next time you use it, uh, like I said, poof, everything is gone. Uh, no crates, uh, no loops, cue points, overviews, all that stuff is gone. Now, as I mentioned, Macs cannot write to Windows NTFS drives. So, what this means is you're going to need to reformat the drive uh, to another format. Uh, now you can do this right on your Mac, you don't need any special software for it. So click on your Mac's internal drive icon and go in your Applications folder and scroll down to the Utilities folder. And in here there's another program called Disk Utility. Let's double click that to open it. This is what we're going to use to reformat the drive. Now it's important to note though that when you reformat the drive that it will erase everything on it. So uh, before you reformat the drive you need to get all the files and stuff off the drive first you need to transfer that to another drive or computer, reformat the drive, and then put everything back on uh, the newly reformatted drive. Now, it's a rather long and tedious process, I know, but it's the only thing you can do. All right, so once, make sure you back up everything first before you even attempt this. So once you have all your files backed up, open the Disk Utility Program and right-click or just click on your external drives icon. Obviously, you don't want to click on your internal drive. You don't want to erase that. All right, so we have the external drives icon selected. Now on the Erase tab, click that, then we have Format. Uh, basically you have two choices that you can use. MS-DOS, or FAT32 as it's called, or one of the native Mac formats. Now they both have their pros and cons. Uh, MS-DOS, FAT32, it's an older format, uh, not as reliable. However, you can use this on both Macs and PCs. So if you absolutely have to use your external drive on both your Mac and your PC computers, uh, you pretty much have to stick with FAT32 MS-DOS. Uh, but as I mentioned, it's an older format, not as reliable, and it has some limitations, like you can only have a single file size uh, no greater than 4 gigabytes. So, I mean, for most people, that's not going to be an issue or a problem, you know, unless you're trying to copy, like, a Blu-ray movie to your drive or something, it's not going to work because, you know, Blu-rays are way bigger than 4 gigabytes. So, uh, MS-DOS, older, not as reliable, limitations, so... If you're only going to be using your Mac or your external drive on your Mac with Scratch Live for music and stuff like that, uh, I'd stick with the Mac OS extended uh, formats. They're, they'll work much better. And that's what I'm going to select. Now, you can also enter a name for the drive. So let's just keep it the same. Uh, external drive. Also, click on security options. One of these other ones might be checked. Uh, make sure don't erase data is selected. If you have one of these ones checked, uh, it's going to take forever to reformat the drive. Uh, this is, you know, for basically how well it erases all the data. So, I mean, you don't need to unless, you know, you're working for the CIA or top secret government, stuff like that. So just click on don't erase data. I mean, it's still going to erase all the data and everything on it, as I mentioned. But it's just uh, this, uh, if you, you'll be able to recover it easy if you use like a recovery software program to try and get the files off it. So, I mean, unless you're working for the CIA, 
uh, you know, click one of these. But if not, uh, just click on Don't Erase Data. So, okay, so click on OK. And that's uh, pretty much it. So now just click on the Erase button, and it will reformat the drive for you. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, only about 30 seconds, maybe a minute at most. And that's pretty much it. I'm not actually going to do it because I still need this drive, but this is how you reformat your drive to either uh, Mac OS Extended or FAT32. Again, only use FAT32 if you absolutely have to use the drive on Macs and PCs. Otherwise, stick with the native Mac formats. And obviously, those are going to be Mac only. Uh, you won't be able to use the drive on a PC. And that's pretty much it. So this is how you reformat your drive to be able to get it to work on your new Macintosh computer. So all your crates and loops and cue points and overviews and all that good stuff saves in Scratch Life.